What's up ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're doing the Nightfall, that's right, the Omni Gold Nightfall. Yes, it is Iron Banner week, so everybody's in Iron Banner grinding and grinding and grinding. But like I say, every time it's Iron Banner, sometimes you do a lot of PvP and you just need a break. You need to sit back, you need to unwind, and you want to do something else. So you could always jump into the Nightfall that week. Though this week's Nightfall might not be that relaxing just stroll through the park that you would typically want. But we're still going to do it, we're still going to show the rewards that we get on all three of our characters. And who knows, maybe you are going to be crazy enough to go ahead in and try to get some loot in the Nightfall this week. So, it's Omnigul, and Omnigul's actually coming back in a week. In a week we're going to get a remastered Omnigul Strike, and you know we're going to be seeing her as a Nightfall Yin very very soon so Bungie's like hey we're gonna be showing the new Omnigul strike let's go ahead and show the old Omnigul strike before all things are done and what we did was we got Omnigul and we got Arkburn oh boy buckle up kids we've got a ways to go it is Arkburn hold on to your butts let's say this you're gonna die you're absolutely going to die if you look at Omnigul funny, you're going to die. If you look at one of her witches funny, you're going to die. If you look at one of the boomers funny, you're going to die. So if you're really caught up on that whole death thing, this Nightfall might not be for you. But if you go into it knowing full well that you're going to be a glass cannon, you're going to hit like a truck, and you're going to get hit like a truck, and you know full well you're going to die, and you're going to need to be revived by your teammates, then this thing's going to be okay, because yes, we've got arc burn. And that's why we're rocking out the Zalo Supercell. Well, that's not actually the only reason. So it's Arkburn and it's small arms. So this is basically custom made for the Zalo Supercell. Now, I said in a video a little while ago that the next time we had small arms, I really wanted to take the Thorn into the Nightfall. Unfortunately, this is just too custom perfect for the Zalo Supercell. It would have been absolutely silly to go ahead and take in the Thorn. The Zalo is made for small arms in Arkburn. It absolutely melts through pretty much everything. It's going to be your best option to use for pretty much everything except for the longest range engagements in this strike. For that you'll probably want to go ahead and swap over to your sniper rifle. I also have on a heavy machine gun that do have high caliber rounds on it. So that's pretty nice for staggering though I really didn't use it all that much. Very sparingly did I use my heavy machine gun. I think right here this is about the most that I used it and it was just because Basically, if you're out here and you're shooting at Omnigul, if you've got your Zalo, you can fire off for maybe a second, second and a half before Omnigul starts targeting you, and by the time she starts targeting you, if you don't move away, you are going to die. <laughs> I know that's a theme of what we're talking about, but it's very, very true. You're not going to escape this, and that means that you're pretty much going to need to play a little bit smarter whenever you're dealing out the damage, and I know that's a little bit tricky for people. It's definitely tricky for me. Whenever I'm out there, I want to be aggressive. I want to deal out all the damage I can. Unfortunately, you can't deal out that much damage all at once, so just something to keep in mind. Now the other thing is, there are a couple boomers who we really wanted to focus on every single time. Obviously the enemies down the hallway that I'm shooting right now where I shot my tether are a big priority, but to my right, there's typically a boomer that's spawning at the other end of the hallway, and he is a gigantic pain in the butt whenever he spawns in, and there are several incarnations of him. So make sure you're always going after him, because if not, whenever you're aiming at the enemies that are down that hallway, he is going to hit you in the ear with his boomer blast, and he's going to kill you, and it's going to suck. It's going to suck, and you're going to be frustrated because it's the same guy over and over and over again. So we always try to really get our shots off down this hallway that I'm looking right now, and try to get that boomer. Always try to be on the lookout for that boomer on the side. And it is a little bit tricky because you can also see that there's red on the radar that's pointing in that direction. But if you play it smart and you play it right, you really don't have to worry about that boomer. He's pretty difficult to go ahead and get because what he is is he's right outside the door that's to my right and he's above you. So he's tricky to get an angle on. I tried a few times to go ahead and just throw a sneaky grenade up there. I missed him whenever I was doing that. You can obviously challenge him. And if you're lucky, then you don't have to worry about him again. I believe that's what happened in our case right here. We ended up basically trading one for one with him. But more often than not, as long as you don't go out this doorway, you won't really have to worry about him. 
but if you do go out there and you forget that he's above you, you're just going to get blasted from behind and you're going to be frustrated again because he's pretty much going to hit you unchecked. Now here's what I'm saying about Omnigle. As soon as I shut out my tether, basically she was targeting me, I decided I wanted to go ahead and put out some damage, I died almost instantly. Like I said, it's arc burn, you've got no chance in surviving these rapid fire, rapid succession arc blasts that Omnigle was shooting out, or the boomers, the boomers just have so much power behind their blasts. And unfortunately right here, we've got a hive boomer knight, so he can deal out some damage and he can tank a lot of damage. So I'm really focused, this is definitely one of the guys that, like I said, you wanted to focus on and wanted to make sure that you got down to make sure that you were able to go ahead and complete the rest of the strike. You can see that even though I went ahead and took down his health and I was looking where he was, he ended up leaving, fooling me in his positioning and then coming back and he ended up wrecking me. Now, he's still back there, so I still want to go ahead and take care of him because if not, Again, as Devil and Pooj are shooting down this hallway and trying to get off shots at Omnigle, he's going to be hitting us on the side. Now, he's got to be still somewhere over on the right-hand side, so I'm going to go ahead and keep looking whenever I can. Still, we've got this one red boomer knight, and luckily he is down. Yet again, you can see that there are enemies, and there's that boomer knight. There are those boomer blasts, and I know there's somewhere, and there he is. He's all the way in the back right now, but still, I want to get him done. I want to get him down. He's been a pain in the butt. His health is so low, if only I didn't have three bullets in that magazine. Very frustrating, <laughs> because that made this battle with the boomer take even longer. <laughs> and he left, he left. He went somewhere else. Also, just want to say one other thing. Even though arc burn and small arms are the number one and number two thing you need to worry about, we also have grounded on. And with grounded, whenever you're in the air, you take additional damage. Now, it didn't even dawn on me until our third run that we had grounded on. But just something to keep in mind, in this particular final battle, there's obviously not a lot of jumping room or a lot of jumping that goes on because we often all hide in this hallway. But in some other areas where you have a little bit more wide open spaces, you might find that grounded actually affects you. So just something to keep in mind, try not to jump in the air. If you do, if you're jumping and you're getting hit by the arc blast from the enemy, forget it, you're done, wipe, rinse, repeat. But with a little bit of patience and some self-preservation and a little bit of luck where Omnigool doesn't hide behind the columns the entire time, you will be able to take her down. Like I said, Zalo is extremely, extremely powerful. Can't understate that enough. If you have Zalo, you've got to pretty much wear it. You just have to pretty much wear it. But that's the Omnigool strike. Now it's time for the Omnigool loot. So we're going to start off, we're going to start off on our Warlock and see what kind of loot we end up getting. Devil. Pooge and myself, we end up get, oh jeez, <laughs> oh jeez, all the stuff that you can get from Iron Banner is what we got, and all of our stat rolls are terrible compared to what you can actually buy from Lady Ephrodite. So, 0 for 1 right now, 0 for 1. Moving on to our Hunter for Nightfall number 2, we've got some other gear, and this time, this time it worked out significantly better, at least for me. I got a Hawkmoon. And I got an emote, a winter's emote, and Devil only got strange coins. And finally, for our Titan, what do we end up getting for our last and final Nightfall of the week? Well, alright, Pooch is getting himself all set up for SRO with a Sparrow, and he got some gloves. I got a chaotic neutral heavy machine gun, and Devil got a hand cannon that says, How dare you, but how dare that be a weapon in the game? That was terrible. And of course we've got to open up our emote, and how do we feel about our Nightfall rewards this time? How are we feeling about that? Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, this is about right. This is about right. <laughs> so no skeleton keys, that means no grasp chances. Obviously no three of coins drops because it's Omnigle. That was the Nightfall. Anyway guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your nightfall, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag sad about it.